Okay, so now for our final talk of the day, we have our second lightning talk by Juan Pablo Lorenzo. Uh, Juan Pablo is a software engineer at McAfee, and his talk is called The Nature Code in Search of a Minimalist Approach to Software Development. Hello and welcome, Juan Pablo. Hello, how are you? So now the screen is all yours. You can start sharing whenever you want. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, I'm Juan Pablo. I'm a software development engineer at McAfee. Um, my talk today is called uh, Delete Your Code in Search of a Minimalist Approach to Software Development. Okay, so what is this talk about? Uh, I think this talk starts uh, as a question. Uh, what can we find at the intersection of minimalism and software development? And the first thing I found out is that there is a lot. Uh, so because of that, I will start showing you some concepts from in and, and out of software engineer. In, and after that, we will try to to make a synthesis to apply while we are developing software. Uh, but this is the lightning talk, so I, ca <laughs> I have to, to start. Um, where do we start? Uh, I think that my, my starting point is this classic essay that is called uh, No Silver Bullet from Craig Brooks. Uh, and I can't explain the, the entire paper that is amazing, but uh, the important part for us is the, the first attack on the conceptual essence of software that is buy versus build. And I will quote, the most radical possible solution for contracting software is not to contract it at all. And, and the meaning is obvious, but I think that this buy versus build technique is a recursive solution to the simple existence of software. It says, okay, your function is avoid building software uh, while, while you can. So I think that three decades has passed and we have been trying to do that. We use libraries, we use frameworks, we use domain specific languages, uh, but we always get to the base case and we have to build the software. So, Let's move to the next uh, concept, minimalism. This concept has been on trend lately. We have a lot of things. We have Netflix documentaries, we have TED Talks, we have Marie Kondo, writers, books, a lot of things. But what is it? Uh, what is minimalism? Uh, you can go to the Oxford Dictionary, or maybe you can go to the artistic movement that was post-World War II, or maybe you can go to the philosophy school of Epicurus, and you will find some concepts, some explanation that are related to the, the thing that we want to, that we are searching for. But I think that it's not as specific as we want uh, for the current use of the word. And I think it's, uh, the best explanation is by a writer called Leo Bauta. And it says that minimalism is simply getting rid of things that you don't use or need, living in an uncluttered, simple environment and an uncluttered, simple life. It's living without an obsession with material things or an obsession with doing everything and doing too much. So minimalism is not about not doing things or it's not about do doing less things. It's about avoiding to do too much. Simple tools and simple problems. And now that we know we what minimalism is, do we have some concepts that are similar in software? Uh, and I think we have a lot of, of them. We have many concepts that I can't explain in them all, but I will name some of them. Uh, the first one, we, we can go to stream programming and you will find the concept of you are not gonna need it that says, okay, resist each time the urge to develop features that do, you don't actually need. And we also have worse is better that is related with the style of design called the, the right thing. And use, we also have the very famous KISS principle. Uh, apart from that, we have some in law. Every program attempts to expand until it can read image. 
and we have also sour blows and we have feature creeps and so on so on. Uh, the last one, uh, Kinsey Hightower has a, a repository in GitHub that is called uh, No Code. And this, is, this repository is empty and says no code is the best way to write secure and reliable applications. So now we know what minimalism is and we know that software development is in some way interested in this approach for a long time. Uh, so I think we, we could play, it's free, so we could play a bit. Uh, my proposal for this approach is the next one, and it's called delete your code. But how? Uh, I would define three simple rules. The first is the following. A piece of software must contain only the software that is being used. So the rest of, of the code should be deleted. Uh, the second one is that a piece of software must have a cohesive amount of use between its parts. So if that rule is not being accomplished, you have to split or modify your code. And the third one is a piece of software must be designed, implemented, and monitored and maintained with the previous concepts in mind. Okay, so we have the rules and I don't know, maybe we need a fancy name. Uh, for this, I, I would call it, I don't know, uh, usage driven development. Uh, but, but we are engineers, we can't leave it here and we have to ask, is it even possible to do that, to delete your code? And if it is possible, how? And I see, I think that that answer is very complicated, uh, very difficult, but I see two key points. The, the first one is monitoring. You can't delete your code if you don't know if you're using it. Uh, we are not only talking in terms of APIs, but also in terms of classes, functions, lines, up to lines of code. And I think that the, the correct tool for that may be a, an application performance management and APM like Datadog or, or Stackify, for example. And the second key point I see is microservices. I think that microservices could be a, a great ally for this. Uh, and why? Because uh, they give us the ability to maintain a, a cohesive amount of usage, the second rule we define. Uh, because do you need to add a new feature and you are tempted to add it to, a, to an existing microservices that have uh, a different responsibility? Okay, there you have a red flag that is that you have two different responsibilities, but also you have a new red flag that is, I'm almost sure that if you add that feature, the the amount of usage will be different than the other of the of the of the of the previous uh, microservices state. I would say. So uh, this this talk uh, is is very small and it's, in, it's very short and it's, it's intentionally incomplete. This is an idea. Uh, I think this would need like a a lot of work and it might turn out to be a really bad idea. I, I know that, uh, but I think it's clear that there are many indications that lead us in this direction in software. And we have known for a long time that we can expect bare pieces of software using less code. So in my opinion, it's time to fully embrace that, that idea. So let's delete your code. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Juan Pablo. And your talk uh, actually connects to the one we heard yesterday about monitoring. So it would be great to perhaps uh, implement both, like uh, first the monitoring part and then see if we can optimize by deleting our code. Uh, one question I wanted to ask you was about your personal experience with deleting your code and how uh, was it, uh, what was the most frustrating part? What was the most satisfying part? And maybe some difficult decisions that you had to make? Uh, yes, uh, as I said, this is like uh, an idea and I have tried to implement in some way in some work I have done, but it's not something I have, uh, I can say that it's achieved in any way in, in any project even. So, uh, I think that the, it's, it's very interesting that what you can achieve, uh, just at least not following this rule that are like maybe a, a kind of arbitrary, but uh, just moving towards that direction of trying to, to 
to do to get stuff for that is minimized and that has less thing and it's less complex. And I think that is also related with the talk with from Cassie yesterday. Uh, so very complex and and so it's even it's complex it's more complex uh, year after year. So uh, a good way to to attack that maybe go in the in the other direction if you can and if your software allows you. But and for that you have to to be able to monitor your software to know if you are able to to do a more minimal code or not. <laughs>